It's comedy. Stop Dude. with the fucking you know that you, start. You almost hospitalized me one time <laughs> from laughing so hard. Like, I don't know if you remember this. <clears throat> I'm serious. Ugh. I don't even know if I could tell it. <laughs> it was it was backstage. <laughs> it was backstage at his show. We were somewhere and you were like, How's the wife? <laughs> we're like, Good. And you and I go you go, Where is she? And I said, I said some city in Tennessee. Maybe Knoxville <clears throat> or Nashville. And you go, Nashville, ninety six. And you started the story about working a club and you're like, I just Rift and between shows, some crazy shit. Some chick who was talking. There was eight people for. There was twenty people for the first show. Knoxville, it was a comedy zone show. I half booked it. Knoxville's a great little fucking town, like a cute little Tennessee town. Is it? It's like hip. It's a football, yeah. you know, like a college town. So I get there on Friday night, Joe Rogan. I'm headlining. I got thirty eight minutes. I just moved to L. A. and I signed with Creative Management, and they booked those rooms. So they were booking me out as a headliner. I was just dying slow dead. So what they did was they put me in one-nighters that paid like two seventy-five a night. And they weren't bad. Clark, yeah. Tennessee, you know. And we go to this Knoxville for two nights. And I go in there, and you know me, dog. I'm fucking crazy. First night I go in there, too, from Friday night, there's 20 people for the first show. And there's a girl, Joe Rogan, that's a 12, with a guy that's a 4. <gasps> Okay, and it's her birthday, you know. Meanwhile, through it, she just turned 21. It's her birthday. <clears throat> okay, hi, happy birthday. What's going on here? You know, because once you start hearing noise, you have to react to it as a comic. And you go, what's going on here? You're 21. <clears throat> I said, you're very beautiful. And then she just went and ran with it and started talking about how her husband pimps her out. He would have fights on, and for 20 bucks, you could fuck him in the back room. 20? The fights were on, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. That on Fridays, he would bring it to the construction truck. Uh, oh, my God. He would God. bring a truck with her to the construction site and put a mattress in the back. And at lunchtime, he would let her friends. And she's telling me this. It's like she's talking, and people are like, like just holding their breaths. Like, what is going on here? This girl is beautiful, and this retard is just pimping her. <laughs> so in between shows, I, I go upstairs to do a line or smoke a joint or whatever the fuck I'm doing. When I come back, I see her by herself. And we start talking. And what's going on? Oh, my God, I had such a great time. I go, is that stuff true? And she goes, yeah. I go, show me the monkey. And she took me <laughs> in the woman's bathroom, pulled down her pants. The girl had a monkey that was spotless. She, it nearly stunk. I ate it. I fingered it or something. And then she sucked my dick. That was it. I went back to my room. I didn't think nothing of it. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I scored. I go back for the second show. There's eight people. But by the time I go back for the second show, Joe Rogan, she's sitting in the back. She's 21, and she's looking at me like this. She's fucked up. And 10 minutes into my spot, set because I was headlining, she starts going, I sucked the comedian's dick tonight. And her husband's like, what are you talking about? And she's like, I sucked his dick, and he came in my mouth. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? The cops had to hold him back, and he's like, I want my $40. That's all he wanted. He didn't care that his wife sucked my dick at this comedy bathroom. Oh my God. When the cops came, he kept saying, man, somebody's going to get hurt if I don't have my $40. That's a $40 blowjob. Did you come in her mouth?